Hello, my name is Matt Snezek, General Manager for Natura Water. Today I'm going to show you how to install and start up a Natura Water B4 countertop machine. But first I want to show you the tools that are needed during the process. A pair of tube cutters, pliers, a spanner wrench, a T15 torque screw, a Phillips or flathead screwdriver, and extra towels to clean up any excess water. When you arrive on site, you're going to have two boxes. First box will have your machine, drip tray, and taps. Second box will have your filtration installation kit. Inside the filtration you have a braided hose, a water block, pressure reducing valve, CO2 regulator, your sediment, your carbon, and your nano ceram filter, and your filter housing. Very important when connecting the filter housing that you use in this order your sediment, your carbon, and your nano ceram. And on the filter housing, there's an inlet and an outlet. So it goes sediment, carbon, nano ceram. Once that's all set up, this is what the main source will look like with your braided hose, your water block, and your pressure reducing valve. Very important that you follow the arrows on a pressure reducing valve and the way that the water flows. And then you would connect it to your inlet of the filter. Your main connection to the filtration is all set up. You want to run your 3 8 inch line to the outlet of the filtration, to the back of the machine, and to the 3 8 fitting. Once that's complete, you want to step over to your CO2 tank. The CO2 tank is not supplied by Natura, it's supplied by the end user. The CO2 regulator is included in the filtration kit. Very easy to install. You just connect it to the CO2 tank, and with your pliers, you just tighten it up. On the CO2 regulator, there's two regulators. The first one gives you how much CO2 is inside the tank. The second one is how you set your CO2. You never want to set it over 65 PSI. Once it's connected to the tank, you want to run your quarter inch line that is, installed, that is included in the filtration kit to the bottom of the regulator and you want to run it to the back of the machine in the quarter inch fitting. After you install the CO2, next step is to install the taps on your machine. Very easy to do. The tap you just take and you connect it to the collar of the front of the machine and you turn the collar counterclockwise. Once you get it hand tight, you can use your spanner wrench. The spanner wrench connects to the holes on the collar and you can just tighten it. Once tightened and good, you can go ahead and turn on your water supply. Once you turn the water on, this is when you can check your main connections for any leaks and you can also check the taps for any leaks. Now that the taps are installed, we want to take the lid off the machine. Take the lid off, you want to use your T15 torque screw. There's two screws on each side. You take it off and the lid comes off. Once the lid is off the machine, this is when you want to add your distilled water to the ice bucket. The ice bucket is the white bucket that's inside the machine. You want to add about two to two and a half gallons of distilled water. The reason why we're adding distilled water is because distilled water does not have many contaminants in it. It does not contain chlorine. Chlorine will act as a conductor in the water to cause corrosion between the dissimilar metals, which is the stainless steel and the copper inside. This is why we're using distilled water. After the distilled water is in, next we want to do is purge the carbonator. Right here is the carbonator. What you want to do is lift up on this ring. At this time, you still want to have your CO2 off. The water is on. So you lift up on this ring and it takes about 30 to 45 seconds. I've already done this so it wouldn't waste a lot of time. To know that it's per completely purged is when you lift up and water squirts out of the little hole on the carburetor. Once water squirts out, you want to go ahead and put your lid back on the machine. Put the lid back on the machine, we're now at the final step of the installation process. You want to go ahead and turn your CO2 on and make sure that your CO2 is still set at 60 PSI. Once the CO2 is on, you want to go ahead and turn on the machine. Now that the machine is on, you want to go ahead and run water off your sparkling tap. At first you're going to get flat water for about 30 to 45 seconds. Once the pump kicks on, you want to stop and dispense that water. The way to the pump stops running, run some more distilled water or sparkling water. You want to do this for about two to three liters of water so you notice that the water is sparkling.
the idea is to make sure that you fill up a liter bottle in 15 seconds on the sparkling water. To do that, you just adjust the compensator on the side of this tap. And then you have your sparkling water and you go over to your cold water and dispense cold water to make sure that you're getting water out. And that completes the installation of the Natura Water B4 countertop machine. If you have any questions, you can email service at service at naturawater.com or you can just go to www.naturawater.com. Thank you.